And this little video right here, you guys. I'm going to be speaking with you guys about the music industry. You know. And how it is indeed Satan's playground. First and foremost, I'm going to start this video off by saying. There is no school to go to. To be a celebrity. You ever recognize that? Any other occupation in life that you wanted to do professionally, you can go to school for it. But being a rapper, there is no school for being a rapper. You know? You have to be chosen to do it. Now, they choose people by what people are willing to do to enter into those gates. You know? Some people are born into the industry. The Illuminati is owned by the Rothschilds family. You know? They are also working along with reptilians. The reptilians are at the top of the pyramid in the Illuminati. The little bit of humans that they successfully initiate into the industry, you guys, they use them and abuse them. They bait them in with materials. They take away their abilities to be creative artists. They tell them what they want to hear, you know, and they have to create according to what the powers that be want, you know. That drains you of energy over time. After they drain you of your, your life force, they kill you off and then they clone you. And then they keep baiting people in with the materials and shit. But I'm going to speak about how this is the devil's playground. I started it all first and foremost telling y'all that there is no school to be a celebrity. But you hear a lot of celebrities speaking about how they sold these souls to the devil, right? Now, you could tell if somebody sold these souls, you guys, simply by looking at how they looked before they went into the industry. You guys ever recognize an artist could be vibrant, even though they might be broke. Their skin looks healthier when they were broke compared to why they were rich. Like, look at Famous Dex, you know? They will look okay before they go into the industry. And it's because life is normal, you know? You're not seeing fallen angels and the flesh around you. You feel me? There's nobody drugging you up every night and raping you. You know? Doing witchcraft and sex magic on these people. You know? You guys got to understand this. In order to enter into the industry, you guys, the same way that you say a prayer to the Most High, you feel me? There are people that go to the crossroads, what people call the crossroads. You feel me? And the reason why they call it the crossroads, you guys, is because you're about to cross over into a new lifestyle. You feel me? You go out there and you draw a pentagram, in the same way that you pray to the Most High, these people say prayers to the devil. And they summon up what we call a genie. You know? They're documented as jinns in the Bible. You feel me? Genes. Gen genies. Jinns. You feel me? People summon these things. And they make wishes. The genie grants them three wishes, you guys. You feel me? At times, they don't hold up their end of the bargain. You know? But they grant these people three wishes. Say if you was like, I want money, a mansion, infinite amounts of women. They will grant you that. You know? Now, 
because you sold your soul to the dark side, you guys, you're no longer protected by God. So guess what? If you start going against Satan's orders, he could kill you now. Without God's protection, without having to ask the most high, can I kill that person? Because you're now his property. You feel me? These celebrities, you guys, they be up there making deals with the devil. He gives them all that money and shit, right? But you know how you leave a paper trail? The devil leaves a blood trail back up to you. You know what I'm saying? He starts killing people around you. You feel me? Because you invited him into your family now. You know, by you making a deal with him. He starts killing people and their families, you guys. You guys ever see when somebody just get on and somebody's father or mother might die out of nowhere or a cousin or a brother or something? You feel me? The reason why is because it's required for them to do that. And some of them people actually killed their family members on their own, you know? It's just like joining the gang. You feel me? That's traumatizing to some of these people. Not only do they kill their family members, you guys, but they also cook them and they make them consume their family members in spirit cooking rituals. You feel me? It's sickening. But that's what really goes on in the industry. You know? So now, you killed one of your family members. You ate them during a spirit cooking ritual. You feel me? They can create clones of their family members too, you guys. But say if they kill another family member of yours, you know what I'm saying? And you know, the media makes up the, the news coverage on these stories of what happens to these people's family members. We weren't there to experience it. They can make a whole crime scene with a clone and everything. These people are required to make sacrifices and they do the sacrifices on their own. Just like how people do witch hunts. You feel me? Now, you got all this blood on your hand. Right? Some people want money, you guys, to impress the people that they love. Seriously. Some people just want to become successful so they can prove themselves to their family. But if you get all the money in this world and the people that you were trying to prove yourself to are disappearing solely for surely, it means nothing. You know? And that's what goes on in that industry. That's why these celebrities begin to go crazy over time. You know? They begin to go crazy because they have a lot of blood on their hands. They have everything that this world has to offer. But the people that they care about the most and they're ongoing. They have millions of fans. But your fans ain't your family. You feel me? Family is supposed to always be there for you. But you're responsible for taking them out. Now you're going crazy. You feel me? Some of them celebrities be exposed in the industry on live. They be exposing them subliminally. You know, in songs and shit like that. Because... It's, it's fucked up in there, you know? And then you have us, we listen to these people. And we're like, oh, they just talking. Yeah, I'm gonna go do some shit like that. It's evil, y'all. The music industry is wicked. You know? Money means nothing in this world. If the people that you love most are gone. You feel me? And people don't understand that shit. The devil plays mind games with all of us. Not only do they go crazy because they have all their family members going, you guys, but some people get raped in Hollywood. There are some sick, sadistic people in, you know, Hollywood, you know? They, they do all kinds of abominable things against children, against animals, men, women, sex magic, the consuming of another person's energy, you know? These people go crazy, you guys, because when they go into those mansion parties, right? You know how we be lusting at the certain people in Hollywood? You know how some of us might see somebody in Hollywood and we'll be like, damn, she look good as hell. Like, I want a bitch that look like that. Like, damn. You know, 
and they be showing sex scenes with the people, you be lusting after them. You know what I'm saying? I used to be one of those little boys that used to whip my shit out when nobody was around and just beat my shit, you feel me, to, to different female celebrities. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the thing about it is when some people go into Hollywood, you guys, they see that those females ain't what they appear to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, say if you was lusting after a woman your whole life, you was like, oh, man, if I ever had the chance to smash such and such, it'd be on the popping. But then you seen that such and such was a bad for me. They, they were like a hermaphrodite, you know, like a female's image. They, they call this a trap and pornography, lady boys and shit. You feel me? They appear to be women on the surface, but they have the male part. You feel me? And then you have the 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 guy version that may look like the woman it, it it'll look like a dude but it have a female's counterparts you know private parts that traumatizes some people do you know how much energy is going around do you know you 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 collect you make soul ties with people every time you have sex with them right say if you're in these abominable rituals at Hollywood and Y'all all doing it with each other. Anal sex, animal sex, you feel me? Children, you know what I'm saying? Men, women, all of y'all in one bedroom transferring energy. Say if some people begin to get sad and depressed, all that energy is being projected onto all of y'all. Now y'all all walking around sad, depressed, looney tune. All of that. And that's why these rappers be doing so many drugs, you guys. You got real regular people that's not even in Hollywood smoking fat ass blunts. Like, blunts that are so fucking fat. They look like your thumb. You know what I'm saying? Them rappers be doing that shit because they're sad. They know what they got to do to keep that money. You feel me? And it's abominable. You know? People don't understand what's really going on in Hollywood. It's not what people really think it's made out to be. That is Satan's playground. You feel me? There are real fallen angels in Hollywood. Real reptilian shape-shifting hybrids. You know, playing mind games with regular people. And they bait them into materials. It is written in the Bible that Satan tempted Yeshua himself. Took him up to the highest mountain in the world. And told him, I'll give you all the kingdoms of the world if you bow down and worship me. And Yeshua told him, Get from before me. My riches is in heaven. My kingdom is in heaven. You know? And the devil fleed. Everybody don't got that kind of spiritual strength. There are a lot of people that have low self-esteem. There are a lot of people that want to experience certain things that they wasn't able to experience since childhood. You know? There's a lot of people out there that want to attract certain kinds of women. It's women out there that want to attract certain kinds of men. You feel me? And it's like... They bait people with materials. You know? That's what they're controlling people with. The music, in the, the, the music industry is not what it's made up to be, you guys. You feel me? That's why they be doing so many drugs. They're not happy. You know what I'm saying? They're not close to God no more. You feel me? You could be the brokest person in the world, but if you're close to the Most High... You'll still have a sense of peace within yourself. You feel me? There's people out here that think that the more money that they have, the more peace that they're going to have. It means nothing if the people that you love are gone. And they're inside of your body. Their spirits are inside of your body haunting you. You feel me? It's spirit cooking. Spirit cooking, sex magic. You feel me? Rituals every fucking night. Like, And some people think that they got to do those rituals one time, you guys. You feel me? They think that it's a one-time deal when they enter into Hollywood. No, they're going to have you doing those rituals every day. And that's what drives those people insane. Because say if you say if you a man and they told you, oh, you got to get fellatio to the, to the Jewish man over there. You know what I'm saying? An old Jewish man. And he ends up liking the way that you did it the first time. You feel me? He like, no, I, I'm, I want him in here every day. You feel me? You're his property now. You know? 
and they're gonna be threatening your life every day. They're gonna have niggas in black and white suits following you around the Cadillacs and shit like that. If you try to, you know, speak out against them, if you're not protected by God, you can't come on here and talk out against the Illuminati. You feel me? That's why some of them people in Hollywood, they get killed when they start trying to open up their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Stanley Kubrick made the movie Eyes Wide Shut. You feel me? But Stanley Kubrick was also in Hollywood's gates. How are you going to enter into the belly of the beast and try to expose what you see going on in there? You know? You're supposed to make it look glitz and glamorous. You're supposed to keep people distracted with the materialistic lifestyle. You feel me? And this is why a lot of people lack character nowadays, you guys. You feel me? Because people think the more money I got, the more attractive I am. I don't give a fuck how much money you got. There's a lot of people out here that got money that's boring as hell. They ain't got no kind of real fucking personality. The only thing they can talk about is what the fuck they got. And what the fuck they did. Like, I don't care about none of that shit. Tell me who you are. Do you love yourself? Guarantee you most of them don't even have self-love. Their, their, their ability to love themselves is off of how many people love them in the world. You feel me? It's just sickening out here. Do not be deceived by the music industry. I'm about to start composing a little mini-series for you guys. Talking about the music industry. Sex magic. Reptilians. The selling of the soul at the crossroads. All of that. I'm going to make like a little mini-movie out of it. But I just wanted to make this video right here for some of the people that don't understand how the devil gets down with this Illuminati shit. You feel me? It's sickening. You guys drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what you think about this video right here. As I said, the title of this video right here is The Music Industry is Satan's Playground. There are fallen angels dwelling in Hollywood. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section what you think about this. This is Electrifying Vibrations. Shalom.